Welcome back to Fallout 76, everybody. It looks like I'm really thirsty, so let's get something to drink right away. Go here into my aid and uh, look for something to drink. We could have some brain fungus soup, but I'm pretty full, so I don't think we need any food. Let us just look for something to drink. And that could be, oh, I don't know, something heavy like Nuka Cola and a Nuka Cherry. Ooh, I drank a... Is that the first Nuka Cherry I drank? Wow, okay. Well, I got uh, completed a challenge by drinking a freaking Nuka Cherry. Well, here we are on the west side. I believe the west side of this uh, bridge, which I don't see right now. The bridge is right over there. The game has put me here, and that's fine because we're going to go ahead and head this way anyway on the road. Let's just hit the road, take the road south, see where it takes us, see what the heck this is. Maybe see what this is. Well, we know it's a power plant. Maybe we'll stop and visit it. I don't know. Let's just see where the road takes us. Um, what does this say? It says... Private property, no trespassing. Well, you know darn well that means we're going to go trespass. Why does... This say private property and no trespassing. There's a dead vault tech employee in there. And uh, that's pretty much it, really. But it's uh, the fact that somebody spray painted that on the side made me very curious about it. But nothing to see there. Not anything that I saw anyway. So let's get back on the road here. There's like a lookout tower of some sort there. There's the power plant. That is pretty scary looking up there, and uh, this is pretty scary looking right here. There is a... What do we got walking down there? A Scorched. We got us a Scorched walking around. That's okay, we can handle Scorched. You know what I should have done? <laughs> I like how I think of things after the fact. When we were up there... Um, in the factory, the ice cream factory, I should have um, used the uh, Tinker's Bench to uh, craft more 10 millimeter bullets, but I didn't do it. And I didn't even hit him, I shot it right over his head. Fine, I'll just shoot him in the back, it's an easier target. Now, no doubt got the attention of another one. He should be running over here pretty soon. I hear him. Oh, I think I do anyway. There he is. Oh, darn it. Take care of that scorched. And we're going to start picking stuff up. A machete. A broken machete at that. Um, I don't think I need any more machetes. Doggone it. That was another thing I meant to do. Man, I am very, very forgetful. Um, I had picked up this new machete here, which I thought did 29 damage, didn't it? I thought my level 10 machete did 29 damage. I don't know, maybe when the condition starts to go down, it does less damage. I have to keep an eye on that. But anyway, I wanted to give it the serrated edge, but I totally forgot. Totally forgot, man. I am not prepared. I, uh, I'm not going to do as much damage as I should. I'm not going to have as much ammo as I should. So down here, little quaint little town, there's that teapot thing that we saw on the map. We got a red rocket over here. There's a bloat fly over there. There's another one over there. Eh, didn't think I would get lucky enough to hit that. Oh, darn it. Oh, man. I'd like to take this thing out from here. Jeez. Didn't even hit it. Kill it. Shoot. Because these things are so hard to kill up close. And here he comes. Ah. See what I'm talking about? So hard to kill up close. Yeah, I hit him, but I didn't kill him. Doggone it. I got this thing to do with. Shotgun would be a good weapon to have against these things. Ugh. 
Fu, I've discovered the giant teapots. And for some reason, that is a challenge. Oh, we've leveled up. That's the challenge. Oh, I hit it again. Golly, man, this fly. Taking a beating. Let's uh, check out the gift shop here. See what uh, new and exciting things are here. Mountain honey? Interesting. Well, I gotta take that. That's the first one of those I've seen. Oh, hi. How's it going? Welcome. Oh. I'm thrilled that you've come to view our own giant teapot. One of our many claims to fame here in Appalachia. I'm your humble but enthusiastic host, Giles Sweetwater. But please call me Sweetwater. Sure. I would serve you a most delightful cup of tea mm. if only I had more honey. Perhaps you could find some. Uh, I have some, I think. Quest started a daily quest called Strange Brew. A nice cup of tea and a biscuit go well with Armageddon. Tea goes well with anything. Okay, so this new quest, this new daily quest we just picked up, let's check it out here. It's called Strange Brew. I need to find some honey if I want to try out this special tea. It says I have to collect 10 honey, and according to this, I have zero honey. So what did I just pick up? That mountain honey. Um, I don't know what it, I guess this is like a moonshine or something. It's not actual honey now, is it? So I need to find 10 honeys. Whoa, what the? That's well, just one of those things. I'll take the gunpowder. Oh, things are getting hot and hairy now. Oh, jeez. What, what the? What the? Man, that is one. <laughs> this mole rat dug up through the porch here, I guess? You're crazy, man. So let us walk around. Oh, quest started. Event. Oh, goody, a quest. Hello. I'm so pleased to announce that the boilers here at the giant teapot are full again. Okay. That means my special blend will be bubbling up shortly. So if you fancy a nice cuppa, the more the merrier. Mm, so what are we supposed to do here in this daily event? Or this uh, event? The giant teapot has refilled the boilers and is ready to begin the steeping process. Start the boilers. Fine, I'll go start the boilers. After I look around in here real quick. So I don't know what honey looks like. Oh, hi, how's it going? What do you got on you, meat? So let's go ahead and start the boilers. We'll go ahead, we'll take part in this event. Oh jeez, gross, 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 gross. Do not like those. Nasty. Uh, 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 uh. I got soldier ants that take a beating? Oh, this place sucks. <laughs> uh, kinds of insects and crap flying around and moles nipping at my ankles. Here's a uh, radio in here playing. Where's the radio? Where is it? I can't find it. There it is. Quiet radio. There. That was a Beach Boys song that was playing, I do believe. Uh, so I'm supposed to start some boilers or something like that? Uh, okay, here we go. Operations manual. Let's read this real quick. Giant teapot operations. The giant teapot features a stupendous steepomatic brewer to allow for large-scale tea production. Automated features include cleanliness through sanitization, refill of water tanks via dedicated system, temperature control, and oh, emergency shutdown. The boiler controls remain manual to allow for overall human touch in the brewing process. Important notes. The boiler cannot be turned on until the water tanks are full to prevent damage to the steep omatic. Correct pressure must be maintained or the steep omatic will shut down to prevent a catastrophic failure. Well, I can't just simply activate the boilers because I need to make sure that there's enough water in these, I guess. Uh, although I don't know how to go about doing that, and I don't even know if I need to do it. Um, I bet you when I try to turn this on, it won't let me. So, uh, this is going to send me on a different quest. Oh, creature wave, what? The boilers are heating up. I'm afraid the local creatures don't like this next part. Shame, really. You better keep an eye out for trouble. Okay, here comes trouble. 
gosh. I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty scary. Hey, how's it going? What is this? Oh my god, what was that? Oh, gross. What the hell was that? Oh, 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 crap. Oh, crap. A oh, rad toad? There's one rad toad, man. Alright, took him out. Uh, apparently there's more creatures. I'm supposed to be taking out one of them. Seems to be right nearby. Oh, I got it. Nice. Um, let's see. The three paces in this direction. This thing's pointing me all over the place. And I already took care of the toad. Beside an energy plant. Okay, take care of this guy. That's gross looking, man. Uh, I'm supposed to take something out over here. Oh, water pipe. Um, can I repair it or something? Or... Um... I guess I can't repair it. I guess these things were trying to damage it. Is that what's going on here? Oh, there's something over here. So I got this. And then... I'm not real sure where I'm going now. Maybe... Over here, maybe? Although this seems like it's okay. Alright, here we go. Creature Wave 2 incoming. Quit it. Oh, gross. What is this thing? A tick? Oh, disgusting. One can't rush such things. Ooh. Why did I pick that stuff up? That's disgusting. Ant meat. Oh, I'm over encumbered? Come on. All right. Let us see what I can drop. Oh, so over encumbered. Uh, I. I don't know. Do I need ant meat? Doesn't weigh much. Oh crap, here comes something else. Oh, gross. Oh, so disgusting. Giant ticks. Where are you, dog? I hear you, but I do not see you. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, now he's over here. Hey, quit biting the pipe. Oh, oh, oh. Something else? No? We're good? I do not like being over encumbered. Oh, vicious wolf, everybody. He is vicious. Raw wolf meat. <laughs> oh no, the pipe's broken. Oh no. Crap, what do I do? Um. Um. What do I do about this? Can I fix it? Am I screwed? Um, I don't know. I've got all these areas on the map that are not really defined. Like there's a circle here on the map. Like I'm supposed to do something in this direction. Where is this thing pointing me? Way up here? What the heck? Collect honey? Oh. Gracious. A shame such violence is required to get a I can't run. Damn it. Well, my secondary pipe Water is almost broken. Oh, uh, I failed. Oh well, that's too bad. Just a little bit longer. Too hot. It failed. Oh well. That's too bad. Oh, go away. Foul tick. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Oh, you go away too. Oh, this place is the worst. I don't like it here at all. No, sir, I do not. <laughs> okay. Well, um... So, this... Ah, go away. Stingwing. Oh my. Oh. Oh! Do not care for that. No, I don't. Stop it. 
This is the worst place ever. Okay, so we're supposed to visit the teapot. Here I am, I'm visiting it. Visit, visit, visit. Um, how does one actually visit the teapot? See up there in the corner? For this daily quest, I need to visit the giant teapot. Well, I mean, I'm at it, so is this not visiting it? And uh, if I look on my map... Yeah, see there's a little circle there around the giant teapot. So, um... Am I not currently visiting it? This is the teapot, so... I don't know how to get it to check off visiting the giant teapot. Uh, but I'm supposed to collect 10 honeys. And if we look at our map, these honeys are far away, man. There's one here. There's one way up here. Um, and that's only two of them. I don't even see the other ones. One here. I ain't gonna run all the way up there and gather all those honeys. It's just not gonna happen. So that is a daily event that I am not gonna complete. I mean, come on. What do you what do you think I am? I'm gonna run all all over the place and do that. Uh, I guess it would be different if it was um, near places I had already visited, you know. So I could well, I guess I could fast travel there and get that. But I've never been up here. Oh, this is also now. Why is this collect honey? Um, a diamond, but this one's a circle. I guess because here it knows the specific location, but here I have to search for it. Um, yeah. So, oh, a bunch of dudes running around down here. Some high-level dudes down there. Yeah, man. I don't know about this collect honey business. So, to get here... The closest I could get is here, Grafton. So I could I could fast travel to Grafton, then run down here and get honey. Uh, I could fast travel to this relay tower, then run up here and get this honey, and then run up here and get that honey. Um, and for this honey, I oh that's the one I was just looking at. I even even if I did that I'm still not sure I'm seeing all of the honeys there may be some other ones that I don't even see so I don't know man waypoint place that's not what I meant to do um oh there's one right here too so I don't know yeah um I think I have to do it don't I Last time I asked you guys if I should do a daily event, you're like, part of the game, right? Well, it is. Alright, let's do it. First of all, I want to travel to my camp. Let's go fa fast travel back up to my camp. Ah, jeez. Uh, let me drop some crap. I'm sure I have a bunch of stuff that I don't really need. So I'm going to drop, um... Let's see, blood packs. I don't even know what those are for. I got me down to 191. And... Um, Bubble gum. I don't really know what that's for either. Well, slower hunger and thirst. Eh, who cares? Okay, that was not a smart thing to drop because it didn't weigh anything. Um, what's some of this crap that I just picked up? Like this tick. Do anything spoiled? Spoiled meat. Yeah, we'll drop the spoiled meat. We'll drop the spoiled vegetables. Okay, so I should be able to fast travel now. So I want to fast travel up to my camp to uh, do a quick uh, scrap. And then we'll travel around the map and see if we can't collect honey. I mean, why not, right? Uh, the guy wants us to collect honey. We'll collect honey, sure. Ooh. Gunshots here near my camp. Hey, my camp is still here. Yay. My camp is still here. How exciting are my... Turrets all still here? Yeah, looks like they are. Okay, cool. Looks like everything's still here. It's pretty exciting. Uh, first things first, let us do some scrapping. Okay, we scrapped that. And I'm going to scrap some other stuff that I don't need to be carrying around. Um, let's scrap this. 
And I don't really know why I'm carrying these two things. I really don't. So let's just drop these off. I don't need these on me right now. Uh, the same thing with the gas mask. I'll come back and get that when I need it. So let's just drop these things off here. Um, ammo that I'm not using at the moment. I'm not, I don't have any weapon that shoots those. And I don't think I have a weapon that shoots this. These two I can't remember weapons. I've got, um, the sniper rifle that shoots 308. Perfect Storm that shoots 10 millimeter. Pipe revolver that shoots 45. I think that's all I got. So, in that case, I don't need this 44. It's 44 rounds on me. Not that they weigh all that much. Uh, other things to get rid of? I mean, I don't know when I'll ever use these. I don't even have any energy weapons, so we'll put those away. Melee damage plus 20%. I don't know. Maybe if I find myself in a big battle, I might use that. Repair plus 30% fusion core duration. Who cares? Unarmed. I never fight unarmed. So... Yeah, we'll drop those off because those are kind of heavy themselves. Um, let's see. Notes. Do I have any notes that weigh anything? Well, I've got these recipes. Let's see if I can use these recipes and the ones I can't use. We'll, we'll uh, drop them off. Bloatfly loaf. Nope. Rad toad. Fried rad toad legs. Whoa, really? I already knew that too. Okay. So let's drop both of those off. Recipe, recipe. And that's all that stuff that weighs anything. Hollow tapes, do they weigh anything? They do not. Got some miscellaneous stuff that does weigh, some of it weighs a little teeny tiny bit, but not much at all. And then all this aid I have in here that I'm just carrying around with me. This is probably what is weighing me down the most. Stealth Boy might be useful. I think I'll keep that on me. I mean, it's only one pound, so we'll keep that. Um, yeah. We'll keep that. Let me... Okay, I'm thirsty again. Before I do that, whoops. Let's go here. And see if I can't craft something. Hey, where's my uh, helmet? Oh, I put it away. For some reason, I wasn't wearing it. Uh, drinks. Again, I'm not going to make that. Although, you know what? I should. This, these soot flowers are going to go bad, aren't they? Um, I mean, if I look at my soot flowers that I have in my inventory, they are just about ready to go bad. So... We will go ahead and uh, craft some drinks. Oh no! What's the. Oh, look! Look at this! Oh! Yeah, shoot him! Oh, there he goes! Yeah, come back! I hope they're doing some damage to him. Yeah, 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 yeah! Nice! Huh, I didn't get any. Um experience points for that. I thought I would get experience points if my uh, turrets killed something. That was pretty cool though, right? I wonder where he came from. He's just kind of passing by. That was pretty neat. Well, it's nice to know that my turrets have my back. Okay. Drinks. Let us make some of this stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and make it because these soot flowers are just going to go bad. All right, there we go. Food. I should be able to make some steak. Glowing meat steak. Grilled rad to gross. Look at that picture. Mall rat chunks. Man, I've got a ton of food. Rad toad omelet. Ton of food. Prepare a feast, I'll say. Roasted ant. Boy, how hungry do you have to be to eat that? Stingwing filet. Wolf ribs. Okay. Man. Now what is my weight? 165? I'd really like to get it down a lot less than that. 
Really, really would, man. Um, I think over here, I should be able to craft some smelting and we'll scrap some lead and some steel. Okay. Okay. Could make fuel. Could make gunpowder. Gunpowder, obviously good to have for uh, ammo. Okay. All right. Good there. Now I can... I want to get my helmet back. That's what I need to do. So let's go into apparel and grab my spacesuit helmet. I want that back. I want to put that on. Okay. And junk. Store all junk. Yeah, store all junk, man. All junk stored. That only got me down to 163. Good grief, man. Yeah. That ought to do it. Um. All this crap I'm carrying around. Aid. Sort by spoil. I'm almost thirsty. Gulper slurry. Let's eat this. Can I eat it from here? Um. Okay. That didn't give me any um, water. I thought it would. Soup. Soup. Okay. Got me down to 161. So yeah, I'm not real sure how to handle this whole aid business, because you definitely want aid on you, but I don't want it taken up, you know, using up all my inventory. Cures all addictions. I don't really need beer. Uh, matter of fact, I'm just going to... Oops. Well, I don't know. I, I just don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Arrest warrants. Um. Yeah. Got these mines and stuff that are taking up inventory space. I need to use some of those. I'm just trying to be proactive. I, I just... I just need to decide what to do. Because what I'm doing now isn't working. Alright. Let us now uh, bring up our map and travel to... What's here? Talk to the Huntmaster. Did this quest just come up? Yep, it did. That miscellaneous quest came up. I want to get rid of that. I'm not going to do that. We've already did that event. Well, we didn't actually. We were supposed to... Um, hunt some tough animals to hunt. We'll do that one of these days. So, uh, in order to gather honey, I need to go here. Um, to get there, I could go to Grafton and travel south. Then I'll be way out in the middle of nowhere. But we got to start somewhere, don't they? Don't we? So let's go ahead and pay our caps. This better be a good uh, daily quest because this one's a pain in the butt. Running all over the map trying to pick this stuff up. We'll see how it goes. We'll give it a shot. Surely after the game makes us do all of this stuff, it'll be a really, really cool reward, right? Okay. Here we are in Grafton. I want to go... Here. Well, I'm aiming right at it, so let's go. run over here. Okay, I'm getting close. Very quiet out here. OK, 
can't jump up there? Okay. Yeah, radioactive here for some reason. Whatever I'm looking for is nearby. Hmm. Now I don't know exactly how oh, great there's a storm here. Oh look! Bee hunt? A bee swarm? Uh how do you fight a bee swarm? Okay, you hit it with your uh freaking this. Um can I shoot it? No? Well, that's not showing up as a bee swarm. Beehive. Two honey. Okay, cool. Go away, bee swarm. Ow. Am I supposed to get more honey from here? Is there another swarm here that I get to get honey from? Honey. Okay, ouch. Honey. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop swarming me. Stop it. Give me my space. Is that all I'm going to get from here? Well, we got, what, four honey? <laughs> Look at these damn things. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that was kind of neat. So now I know where to find honey, what I'm looking for, at least. This thing can't make up its mind whether it's going to give me more honey. Am I going to be able to get all ten of my honey from here? So long as I uh, put in my time against this, these bee swarms. Bee swarms suck because you don't get anything from them. Well, obviously, other than the honey. Three honey. Huh. I guess if you just stand here long enough, you'll get all the honey you need so I don't have to travel all over the whole map. Uh, oh, I have, I have all the honey I need. I'm done. Okay. Well, there you go. So that isn't too bad. Get away. I need to fast travel. I need you to go away and leave me alone while I look at my map. Map. Travel back here to Sweetwater. He is uh, down here. I don't want to start tracking. Ouch. Fast travel. Yes, please. Oh, for God's sakes. Leave me alone so I could fast travel. Alright, are you done? Fast travel. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. So we get, we got all 10 honey from one location. <laughs> so that wasn't nearly as bad as I worried it was going to be. And now I feel like um, my reward isn't going to be nearly as great as I hoped it would be. Okay, there's the teapot. Uh, and here's the little house. That is going to have sweet water in it. There's sweet water right there. But we're also supposed to visit the giant teapot. But, I don't know, let's see what happens here. Hey, d what's up, dude? Completed. Okay. You, you're not going to... Oh. Well, a nice cup of tea will make the world right again. Okay. Oh, gracious, you're back already. How wonderful. Yeah, I can travel really fast. Delightful. This honey will be the final touch on my special blend. Please do return to brew up more if you enjoy the surprisingly subtle flavors. It takes a while for our automated system to fill the boilers fully. But once they're ready, it doesn't take long to get the tea fully steamed. It's a little noisy and there's quite a lot of steam. But the aroma just permeates the air. So pleasing. You'll know the batch is done when the whistle blows. Thank you again for your assistance. Quest completed. Item reward. Rad X diluted. The colors are so okay. Alright, well. There you have it. That's uh, pretty much it. A nice cup of tea and a biscuit go well with Armageddon. Tea goes well with anything, truth be told. Is that... Returning visitors. How what is that noise? Oh, wind chimes. Oh, I want those. Aluminum scrap. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Thanks, where's my tea? I'm thrilled that you've come to view our own giant teapot. One of our many claims to fame here in Appalachia. I'm your humble, 
but enthusiastic host, Giles Sweetwater. But please, call me Sweetwater. Oh, is this what I'm hearing? These flies buzzing around this meat nice pile? Cup of tea and a biscuit go well with Armageddon. Tea goes well with anything. This guy talks too much. There's some mechanics jumpsuits. Beaker stand, paintbrush. Can't say I'm interested in any of those. Oh my. Well, okay, there you go. It's the giant teapot. And he said that uh, you would hear the whistle when... Um, well, a nice cup of tea will make the world When the tea's ready. Don't know how long I would have to wait or if I even want to wait. But uh, there you have it. Giant teapot. I'm having a hard time containing my excitement. Okay. Well, boy, that's a big old tree. So, it's nice to see that these uh, pipes have been repaired since the last time I was here. And I failed to protect them. Little playground here, right next to power station, <laughs> which I find amusing. Just like that Pioneer Scout camp that was right next to that um, steel factory. Safety does not seem to be their primary concern here. Where's this Scorched Wanderer that's on my heads up display here? I'm picking up so much stuff that doesn't go bad that I'm considering... Oh, there's a stash here. Considering not even bothering to, you know, pick up the meat from the animals that I kill and cook it, you know? Oh, why do I want a blood pack? I didn't need that. Because I just have so much in the way of um, aid. Purified water, that's always good to see. Caps, I'll take some of those. Since it looks like I'm going to be doing quite a bit of... Um, man, I almost missed that. Fast traveling. Going to need some caps. Caps are going to be important to me in this game. They were not important to me in Fallout 4. Because I very rarely went to a vendor and bought stuff. Well, we're here. We might as well go down here and... I take that back. I don't... Dog on it. Um... I mean, that place is going to be neat to look at, but I don't really want to look at it at this point in the episode because what will happen is I'll get to work clearing out the outside of it, um, and then, you know, I'll run out of time. I'll have to end my episode, and then when the next episode starts, everything that I cleared out will be back. So this is a place that I would want to visit at the beginning of an episode and uh, since it is now on my map I can do exactly that so this place um, we will visit at the beginning of an episode so in the meantime let's just walk down here into this town and see if we see anything interesting Charleston Station. Is this Charleston? Is that where I am? Well, I'm getting close to it. I like this peaceful music that's playing. Boy, that's tall. Oh, jeez, it scared me. <laughs> Challenge complete. Discover locales within the forest. Five of five. 
Charleston Station we've found here. Trading post, supplies, medical. Oh, look at this. Oh, cool. My stash box. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Like, this is just the greatest thing in the world. Uh, space suit. Silver lining, I'm not going to use this. Uh, I guess I don't need this. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to sell if these to this guy. Supplies to trade, I can be of service. So I'm going to sell him this stuff. I'm going to sell him this stuff. Make some uh, caps. Ooh, I'll get three caps for this. Sell this and get 11 caps. Jeez. And the spacesuit. I, mean, I thought I saw that that thing was worth 300. Wait a minute. Items, apparel, spacesuit. Look, 300. Spacesuit helmet, 78. I go to sell to him. Be sure to stop. Uh, while you and the spacesuit is 30, and this is 8. So, well, what's up with that? Is this just a crappy place to sell stuff? Or. I guess the value that it shows me is the value if I were to, like, buy it from him. Um, and other metal supply. right arm, 51. Here. Metal left arm, 3? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Yeah, this thing I sold to him for a real small amount. Now he's selling it for 257. So I guess just, so if Great I sell this supply. to him... Citizen. Oh, it's not showing up. And then I don't need this chest piece either. So, so now if we talk to him again... Without the proper sure. Holy, holy cow, he's selling the spacesuit for 720? Okay. Well... That's pretty crazy. I mean, I didn't want to sell my helmet. <laughs> so stupid. <sighs> I wanted to wear my helmet, not sell it. Well, I'm not about to buy it back from him. So, whatever. Whatever. I screwed that up. I'll find another hat to wear. We won't worry about it. Uh, weapons workbench. I've got some scrap. Some, some stuff I could scrap. Uh, this is a weapons workbench. Never seem to find an... I never can find the, the workbench I want to find. Oh, here you go. Here's another one of these maps. Uh, Crafton Station added to the map. Morgantown Station added to the map. Oh, these are a bunch of train stations that I'm seeing here. Okay. Well, this is cool because adding these to the map... I'll be able to uh, fast travel to them. So Charleston Station is where we are. White Spring Station. Way down here, Watoga Station. Well, actually I take that back. Just because I'm adding them doesn't mean I can instantly fast travel to, to them. I need to visit them first. Right, now that they're on my map, I can't just be like, uh, hey, let's fast travel here. Yeah, you can't do it. I can't even click on it. Okay. Well, at least I know the location of, of stations, so I guess that's kind of cool, right? And by the way, remember I was talking about earlier when I saw a map, and I was wondering if I missed the pins on it. Uh, it was in the uh, Pioneer Scout Lookout Tower where I saw the first of these maps, and there were no pins on it, so I didn't miss out on anything. Charleston Station Information. Let's use this. Welcome to Charleston Station. Please select an option from the list below. Ticketing. Contacting ticket dispenser. Error. Debug information. Ticketing dispenser malfunction. Please contact station staff immediately. Remember, you can always purchase tickets at your local station counter. Thank you. Have a nice day. Information. You are at Charleston Station on Red Line. Connections available to Sutton Station and Welch Station. Enjoy your ride. Estimated wait times. Contacting track sensors. Track sensor invalid. Calculating estimated wait times. Next available train will arrive in 
900 and our 9,999 years, 9,999 days. So we're not going to wait for that train. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Don't face the wasteland without the proper supply. Well, that's interesting that he's aware of the wasteland. Here is an ammunition vending machine. Wow, for two caps, I could get 86 10 millimeter rounds. That sounds like a really, really good deal. Oh, <laughs> it's two caps per round. <laughs> Uh, I can make my own, thank you very much. I don't need to buy those. Uh, we got a radio here that I'm gonna shut off. A medical supplies vending machine. Interesting. Hmm. I could buy some stim packs for 96 a piece. Man, I tell you though. I think I'm pretty low on stim packs. That's one thing I'm not finding. Well, I have seven of them. Yeah, screw it. I'm good. <laughs> Just don't want to spend the money. Uh, caps are uh, going to be important. Uh, imitation seafood. Caps are going to be very important for uh, fast traveling. Not a public crossing. Hey, how's it going? Well, this is neat. I mean, I imagine I could just walk on these tracks. Yep, sure enough. I mean, I guess I could just walk along the tracks and end up in Sutton or go this way. Keep going through here and end up over here at this place, uh, Camden Park. Pretty cool. I like the thought of that. Charleston Station. Very exciting. Some of those booths. Whoops. I don't think I've seen one of these yet in this game. It is Pulowski Preservation Shelter. But sure enough, there's a body in it. Nuclear protection on a budget. That's it, huh? Thanks for choosing Pulaski. <laughs> oh, hey, look, another banjo. We need to stop and play it. Anybody remember what we get for playing? I remember at the starting of the game, it was like, if you play the guitar, you'll get skill points. But what skill points do I get exactly? I guess, uh, let me see. If I look at my stats, level 17, unfortunately it's not giving me a uh, an amount here. So I don't know how many points I have or how many I need to get to level 18. So what I was hoping was that I could um, look at this, see a number, and then play the banjo and see if that number increased after playing the banjo. But uh, that does not seem to be how things work around here. Let's go ahead and go to our aid here, do a little bit of rat away because we're getting pretty irradiated. Take one of those and then uh, we'll take... Um, well, we need to drink some water. So, I wonder if water goes bad. We're sported, sorted by spoiling. Um, I don't have anything liquid down here. Mute fruit, mute, mute fruit juice, and yes, it does go bad. Okay, we're good there. And then we'll take a... Um, Stem pack. Get our health up. Actually, I was wondering if there was a, a bed around here that I could just lie in. Get my health back that way. What are these things? It's like a... What is this? Bot stop terminal. What's this? 
Need a hand? Use a bot stop. System offline. A bot stop, huh? Alright. Hmm. Well, okay, that's new. Well, it's time for me to end this episode anyway. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. Hope I see you again next time.